Welcome to Mimi's Kitchen. Well, y'all, spring is coming on. Everything is so beautiful, and um, you know, I, I told y'all I feed my family on Sunday. Well, it does have its rewards, I will tell you that, because a lot of them showed up on Saturday, and they pulled weeds and got my yard ready for mulch, and so, uh, so they're helping me out too, and I help them out too. Um, today, we are going to be making a special casserole. Now, with Easter coming up and we're thinking about an Easter meal, we're trying to think of things that will complement each other on our buffet. And almost everybody has a ham on Easter. So we think about the things that will go with ham. And today we are going to be making a pineapple casserole because pineapple always goes with ham. Now, I made this yesterday for my family and it was very good and so, I did a little trial run. I don't cook it a lot because um, some of the young ones, you know how opinionated they are. But anyway, um, and this, by the way, is in the cookbook. Sunday lunch at Mimi's, and it is on page 30, right at the bottom of the page, pineapple casserole. Okay, the first thing I have done I set my oven on 350 degrees so that it's nice and hot and ready when we're ready. All right, now, in the recipe book, it calls for two cans of pineapple chunks. Well, Walmart didn't have pineapple chunks this weekend. They had pineapple tidbits which you can actually make this casserole with any. You can make it with crushed pineapple, with the pineapple tidbits, or with the pineapple chunks. Um, we were talking about it yesterday at church, and a lady, she said, oh, I make mine with crushed pineapple. So we're gonna empty this into our colander because we want to drain that pineapple juice off of it. Okay. What was that, two cans? That is two cans, and they are 20 ounces each. So two full cans. So we'll go let that just drain just a minute. And um, y'all, today I went, to, um, I went to Augusta. That's where my brother lives, and my two sisters, um, and one of their husbands, you know, one is deceased. Anyway, they met me there, and my niece was there, so we all had lunch together, and y'all, we had the best time. We told the same old stories over and over, and laughed again, and they just seemed to get just as funny the next time as they were the last time. All right, we've got our pineapple drained here. So we go put this in our bowl. Oh, y'all, I love pineapple, and oh, it does go good with ham, so this will certainly be a good complement to your Sunday buffet. All right, a cup and a half of sugar. All right, there. We're going to mix that around and just kind of let it dissolve a little bit. Let these get well acquainted with one another. And see the juice from that's still on the pineapple. It'll help dissolve that sugar. And so while that's dissolving, we are going to add our self-rising flour. Now, I've already measured this. This is five tablespoons of self-rising flour. And so you just dump it in there. And then we're just going to toss that around. And what you do is you just make sure that everything is, all that pineapple is coated well with the sugar and the flour. And see, it kind of makes a little mixture of its own. So, woo, smells good. Pineapple. Okay. Now then, you add one cup Oh, sharp, and this is extra sharp, cheese. So we're just going to guesstimate a cup here. 
That looks like a, we'll put one in for good measure. Okay. Mix that all together. I believe we could eat it just like that, don't you? Mm -hmm. All right. I want this to get on the bottom of a casserole. Now, this little casserole dish, it's about a, I would say, 8 by 10. It's not the, the full casserole size, size. So, what we're going to do is just put this in our bowl. See, y'all, this is so easy. You little cooks. You can surprise your family and take them something special for Easter. Because this sure is one of the easiest things to cook. Okay. Now then. It says to use a half a cup of pineapple juice. So, that's a, a half a cup of pineapple juice. And what you do is you just take that and just pour it over, over your pineapple. Now, you're not going to use that juice, but I'll tell you what, that's good. Add that to tea, and it really makes a delicious drink. Okay, now we're gonna do, I'm gonna put our stick of butter in the microwave. And then I'm using three of these little sleeves of Ritz crackers. And that's gonna go on top. So I've already crushed them in the sleeve. This really adds just an extra flavor to this whole thing. So this is not one of those casseroles that you think, oh, did I get everything right? Is it gonna turn out right? Is it gonna right? You don't have to worry about it. It's simple, easy. It's just like it is. You don't have to worry about anything rising or falling or anything else. You just make it, you cook it. our melted butter. Put it right there on those Ritz crackers. Just stir it up. Just make sure that all of your Ritz crackers get some of the butter on it. Okay. Now, Y'all, isn't that simple? Oh my goodness. You know, some of the best tasting things are the easiest things to make. Cooking does not have to be complicated. And uh, some people make it complicated, but I'm just gonna tell you, there are a lot of things you can make that taste really good that don't make you spend all day in the kitchen. So we just go sprinkle this on, on top. Be sure we get all that butter in there. Now, all right, see we got the whole little thing covered. And that is it. So we'll put this in the oven and it cooks about about 30 minutes. What you do is you just make sure that the Ritz crackers are nice and toasty on top. So we'll let this cook a little bit and we'll be back. Okay, we're on the countdown. 10 seconds. This has been in the oven for 30 minutes, exactly 30 minutes. And so I checked and I looked. All right, we'll cut that off. 
Mm. I wish y'all could smell it. Oh my. Doesn't that look delicious? Oh, we just gonna let it cool here just for a couple of minutes. If I try to taste this right now, it might burn my tongue. So we're just going to be back in just one minute. Okay, y'all, this is cooling now. And um, we're going to let it get just a little bit cooler. It's getting nice and thick, as you can see right there. It kind of stays together. But I just wanted to tell you, um, even in my hometown, you know, Anderson's a pretty big place. And so not everybody knows everybody. And when I go to the grocery store now, a lot of people are following me. And so they're beginning to recognize me in the store. And so every once in a while, you'll just feel these eyes on you. You know how you feel. And you'll be walking down and you know somebody's kind of walking behind you until they can get up the nerve. And they say, excuse me, are you, do you do a cooking video? And I say, yes, I do. Oh, are you Mimi? And it's so funny. I, I, I just, I love it. Y'all, I love it. So if you ever see me in public and you want to speak to me, by all means do. Because, because I really enjoy that. It lets me know that, that people are watching. And so last night at church, one of the young men came up to me. In fact, he's the same age as my, my oldest grandson. And he came up last night. He said, Miss Diane, I just want to tell you, my wife has your cookbook, and it has changed my life. So, girls, it's working. So, if you don't have that cookbook, you better be getting you a cookbook. Okay, we're going to take this up. Y'all, it smells so good. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, look at that. Y'all, that would just be just a perfect side dish for your Easter buffet. Okay, I wish I had me a big old piece of ham here and some brown rice. Oh my goodness, y'all, that would be so good. So, but tonight we're having just pineapple casserole, so. Mm-hmm. Y'all, that's good. It's sweet, but yet with that butter and the Ritz crackers on top, it kind of has just a little tiny bit of a salty flavor. So it really is um, something that would complement anything. This will make a delicious side dish for Easter. Y'all, just enjoy this weather. Enjoy your family. Get ready to celebrate the resurrection. And it's a wonderful time of year. So have a good rest of the week. And everybody, shine for Jesus.